So I spent a week with the Lenovo Legion 5i Pro, and I must say this is a nice upgrade from the 2022 model heading into 2023. Now the model I have before me has the RTX 4060 and the i7 13700H, as well as 16 gigs of RAM. Now, the first thing I wanted to take a look at, of course, was the Photoshop benchmark. And the Photoshop benchmark came in at a 1,095. That's a nice step up from last year, especially that this laptop sits kind of in the mid-tier budget. It's not quite the budget-friendly version of the Legion series, like the LOQ, the lock that they have coming out. Hopefully be able to review one of those soon. But for the around the 14 to $1,600 price point, that is a fantastic score and definitely has all of your Photoshop needs taken care of. Now, the next thing I took a look at was the After Effects benchmark, and I really wasn't overly impressed with that score. Now, a 921 is very good, but where I think you would get more performance out of this laptop is if you went ahead and upgraded from 16 to 32 gigs of RAM. It would definitely give you more ceiling, and After Effects is one of those programs that really likes RAM. But for coming out of the factory, stock RAM, a 921 is really good. As an example, the Asus Republic of Gamers Zephyrus G14 from 2023 scores an 800. So it's about 121 points faster than that model. Over the past few years, my wife has had her personal information stolen and accounts open without her approval. A while back, we found some of these accounts and took action to eliminate these issues. That's why I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Aura. We've been using Aura to monitor our personal information online for over a year now and have been able to reclaim control of our personal data. Aura will identify data brokers that are exposing your information and automatically submit opt-out requests on your your behalf. Anyone can find anything on the internet, including your full legal name, your personal email, your home address, phone number, and even your relatives. This information is accessible because of data brokers who profit by selling your information to robocallers, telemarketers, spammers, and anyone else that wants to learn more about you. Aura will even opt you out of junk mail and telemarketing list. You can use my link by going to aura.com slash Kaiser to try a two-week free trial to see how many data brokers brokers are sharing your information. Aura's app also features a VPN, password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitor, internet parental controls, and protects your devices from malware. Aura has almost every internet safety tool you'll ever need all inside one app. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online. If you sign up right now, Aura will give you a two week free trial with my link in the video description. You'll be shocked at how much of your private information Aura finds exposed over those two weeks. It's quite frightening actually. Aura.com slash Benji Kaiser or scan the QR code on the screen right now. I think you'll be very happy with the protection that you receive and the level of comfort that you get by using Aura. We have been extremely happy using it for over a year and I definitely recommend it. If you're curious about the exact pricing and availability of the laptop, you can head down in the description below and click those links. Now, if you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Now, the next thing I wanted to take a look at was 3D modeling. We had a 231 in Auto Autodesk 3ds Max, a 214 in PTC Creo, a 335 in Autodesk Maya. That was a great score. Really like that score. And then for SolidWorks, a 115. Pretty average for the SolidWorks score because it's an NVIDIA GeForce RTX GPU. Not going to be as good as getting like a workstation GPU from NVIDIA. Now going ahead and looking at the Premiere Pro export times, I was really impressed with this laptop for both B-RAW and RED footage for 6K, but not super impressed for 4K. It didn't really do anything faster than last year's Intel equipped Legion 5 Pro instead of the Pro 5i that this is this year's laptop. I'm going to screw up that verbiage for so many videos, I'm sure, because I'm so used to saying the five before the pro. Um, so I really was impressed with 6K, not so much with 4K. 1080p did really well at 48 seconds. So this laptop is definitely on par with everything that we have seen so far. Now, I really wish we would have seen a bump in performance for 4K video editing export time, just because that's something I know a lot of people do, and really shaving off more and more time is going to be helpful with people's workflows. Now, one thing I did want to point out is if you are a 6K user, both 6K B-RAW and 6K RED footage had excellent playback. Man, this RTX 4060, even though it's one of the you know more entry-level GPUs compared to the 4070 or even the 4090, I mean, earth-shattering, in my opinion, being that just two iterations ago, we were dropping 12 to 14,000 frames 
from this, uh, you know, from the generations before of this laptop. So some big improvements for 6K video editing, even at 16 gigs of RAM. This isn't even at 32 gigs of RAM, and we're seeing great improvements from this laptop. Now, I just wanted to get some of these tests before you, before the full review. I hope you enjoyed this. Definitely click or tap the screen here. Check out the full review once it's launched. Otherwise, links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase. Of course, if you do, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. I'll see you in the next video.